St. Alexius was the first hospital in the territory. 1883 was when we were established. Sisters came out of Minnesota and they came to start a school originally and saw a need for a hospital. We have clinics 50 to 100 miles away. We're all about the patient, but my focus has been more on the energy side and comfort side for the patient. So that's what we're working towards. Save money so we can spend it on patient care items, not on utilities. We are crowded in the building. We have over a million square feet and we're full to the rafters. So originally we had been looking just to offload people from the building. And then we were having issues in IT at the time. We started adding up the future loads and ended up with more power required than I had to serve the entire building. The needs weren't stopping. We've always tried to be innovators. So we started looking around to see what we could do and it turned into a 100,000 square foot building. The Tech and Ed Center is our data center for the main hospital and surrounding hospitals throughout the state that we support. And then we also have other clinics that we support. A reliable standby power system is crucial to St. A's, especially since we have the IT server room. If our servers go down, it could take hours to get our servers back up and running. So it's very critical to have medical records available to treat the patients. We did spend a lot of time with Butler looking at the requirements for that building. So it's our state-of-the-art data center that is backed up by these three mega power generators controlled by an EPIC system. EPIC Controls is a computer system on the front end of all six of our generators. They help phase in to the system and as they phase in it closes breakers so we don't have bad currents going through our system. It's a pretty clean transition. You do the gen, the gen test over there, you can't tell it in the building. There's no flashes of light, no power loss, no computers going off. It just transfers power nicely. It's a very simple system with the EPIC. Easy to run. It's all on a computer face in the inside and it tells you all the specifics of what's going on with these engines. It helps with our load shedding. It can, it's the N plus one configuration where it tells you how much load you have and it'll shut them down based on load. And up on our data center we have an A and a B feed flywheel. The flywheels provide us with 15 seconds of backup power, enough for our, our C15s to fire up and get online. Caterpillar and Butler Machinery they have a strong working relationship with St. Alexis Medical Center. It goes back to the 1950s where we've had nothing but Caterpillar products. We looked at other systems. They didn't have quite what we were looking for. They didn't have the EPIC system. They didn't have quite the service. That's why we keep them around. They've been here as long as I have, working with us, designing with us, maintaining with us. So it's more of a team thing than a, a vendor-customer type relationship. They'll come in 24-7 whenever we need them. They're, they're available. Quality of the trained technicians they have out there are wonderful. We're looking at a new generator plant to serve the entire campus, probably an 8 to 10 megawatt plant. So we're once again in, engaging Butler's design services to start looking at how we can go about doing that. When I go home at night I know everything's a-okay so the reliability is there. <laughs>